Thank you for choosing the original Dake Model 250 for your cold saw. In this video, we'll take a look at some simple assembly, the proper method to change a blade, and give you some good tips about cold saw blades. So the first thing you'll want to do is attach the trigger switch arm to the saw and plug that into the control box. You'll see where it fits there and there's a modular plug and it also has a nice safety latch to lock it in place. Next, you can attach the adjustable positive stop if needed. And finally, we can add some coolant and water to the reservoir in the correct ratio amount that's recommended by the manufacturer. The Model 250 will let you set a preferred milling angle of positive 45 or all the way over to a negative 45 degree range setting. To clamp the stock in place, release the cam lock lever first and then place your stock on the table and tighten the vise against the stock. And then we'll back off the vise by about a quarter turn and use the cam lever to lock and safely secure that piece. You should also secure the adjustable anti-burr arm for near burr-free parts. Blade removal is quick and easy. Just detach the blade guard and pivot it up to the top. As you notice here, the blade teeth should always be rotating downward. The first step is to use the provided Allen wrench to remove the blade and the flange. Make sure you keep a firm grip on both parts as you remove the blade. And now is a good time to cover blade backlash. Now you don't want to break blades and backlash is caused by not tightening the blade correctly. The flange has two pins that keep the blade in place and there's a small amount of play or wiggle room that must be taken up properly whenever a new blade is installed. Here you can see a blade that's broke at the flange pins due to backlash. So there's a direct crack there and the blade broke right at that stress point. So to avoid this type of backlash, before installing a new blade, you want to thoroughly clean the flange, the blade, and the spindle assembly. Next, put the clean blade back onto the flange. Now, before we can mount the blade back onto the spindle, you need to check for correct blade rotation, and the blade teeth should always point downward. Here you can see the play between the flange pins and the blade. There's a slight bit of wiggle room there. So we'll go ahead and mount the new blade onto the spindle. And then we'll tighten the Allen bolt just finger tight to allow for the backlash adjustment. We'll give this a final tightening after the next important adjustment. And we'll reposition the uh, Allen wrench to make things just a little easier. Now, before we finally tighten, we'll pull up on the blade so it's secure against the flange pins and hold it in this position. So you're sort of pulling upward on the blade. And as you pull up, you want to go ahead and then fully hard tighten the Allen bolt on the spindle. And there you have it. We have just successfully taken up the backlash on this blade. Now, there's a number of other things that you can do to uh, not break blades and also extend the blade life. So let's take a look at a few of those now. The most important is to always remove that blade backlash. As well, always clean the flange and spindle area. 
If small chips or debris get in between the blade and flange, they can cause blade wobble, which will result in imprecise cuts or worse, broken blades. New blades are really sharp, so you probably want to take the first four or five cuts slower than you normally would to break in the blade, and let the blade do the work. Applying excessive pressure while milling will quickly dull or even break your blades. As well, securely clamp your work pieces to avoid blade breakage or leaving excessive burrs on milled parts. And always wear safety protection, because the one time you don't, may be the time you wish you did. For more information on the Model 250 or any of our cold saws, Give us a call or look us up on the web at datecore.com.